hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be showing you that how to install tiny 11 that is a windows 11 light version which is much faster and more suitable for the low-end pc for the people who want to install windows 11 on unsupported hardware so you will be getting the link of this website you will have to come to this website and once you come up here it says it just uses around 8 gigabyte of space compared to the 20 plus gigabyte that is a standard installation does you can upgrade from windows 10 and install it on unsupported devices so here on the right hand side you will find the download option so you have to click on iso image then you have to click on 22h2 beta no system requirement click on it and it's around 3.6 gigabyte so it will take some time so once the iso file get downloaded what next you will have to do, you will have to come to Rufus website through which we will be creating a bootable USB. So I will also leave the direct link of Rufus. You can come to this website. Then scroll down and you will find the first link of Rufus 4.2.exe. So you will have to click on it. It's a small file around 1.4 MB. It will be quickly downloaded. Once downloaded, you have to install it. And once it will be installed, it will be coming up with a very simple page. Now here in the device section, it will automatically detect your pen drive or USB, which you have connected to your PC or your laptop. So make sure that you have properly connected. In case if the USB has not been detected, then you can close it. Again, reinsert your pen drive or USB into your computer and again, bring up this page. So once it's finally detected below, you'll find the boot selection. So you will have to click on a select then locate to the iso of tiny 11 that we have just downloaded select it then click on open and all the option will be automatically selected then finally you will have to click on start now here it give you a lot of recommendation like remove requirement of 4 gigabyte plus ram secure boot and the tpm so if you want to install on the unsupported hardware then you can keep this option checked and even if you don't want the microsoft account then you can also keep this option checked keep the other option checked and in a create a local account with the username you can type your desired local name that you want so once you are done you have to click on ok then it will give you a warning that all the data on the device will be lost so make sure that you don't have any kind of important data on your pen drive or usb then click on ok and the process will now be started now it will take few minutes so kindly wait until it's all been done so it will just take about four to five minutes and it will be finally done so now we can close it and now we are ready to install tiny windows 11 on the unsupported hardware or any kind of computer so what you will have to do next you need to connect your this bootable usb to the computer where you want to install the tiny windows 11 so once you have connected the usb to the computer make sure that you start the computer in the bios because you have to change the boot priority so that the next time when you start the computer it can start the computer with the pen drive or the bootable usb that you have created okay so once it's been booted with the pen drive you will be getting this kind of windows setup page now here you have to simply click on next check the box click on next select the drive where you want to install then you have to click on next the installation will now be started choose your country or region keyboard layout skip the second layout All right, so finally tiny windows 11 has been installed and you can see that there is not any kind of bloatware in the recommended section and even if i go to all apps you will not find unwanted application like microsoft team and there are only few of the application that are required and even if you go to the task manager in the performance tab you will find the cpu and the ram usage will be very low so that you can easily run your windows 11 without any kind of lag and get the best performance so that's all guys for today and hopefully you will enjoy this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye